Welcome, my children. So nice of you to join me. Tonight, I wanted to take you all on a special little trip. No, not that kind of trip. Not quite that much fun. However, however, it's one you might not forget. Let me ask you something, my children. When you were younger, did you and your family ever like to go camping? Do you ever remember walking through the woods? Perhaps you felt it was calm, serene even, something that allowed you to clear your mind. Perhaps the sounds of nature were soothing, the wind playing its tune through your ears. But what if that tune was screaming? <laughs> yes. What if you feared for your life in those woods? And what if your attacker was neither bear nor man, an unseen predator? <laughs> yeah, yes. Tonight, my children, you will all be joining me as we explore a list of the most haunted experiences in the woods. For our first entry, I will take you all to the Forest of Brocolendie, or the Forêt de Brocolendie, located in Brittany, France. It is said to be the forest in the legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, and it's rumored to be the tomb of the legendary wizard Merlin. Now, just because it is a burial site does not necessarily mean it's haunted. Unless those buried there were done so under foul play. For you see, the Fort de Brocilande is also said to be where the sorceress Morgan Le Fay, King Arthur's treacherous half-sister, was said to have imprisoned young and sprightly men who allowed their eyes to wander from her. In more recent times, it was said that it was the site of a terrible fire uh, that ravaged the forest, and it was memorialized by a golden tree that was planted a year later. For our second entry, I will bring you the Smolensk Forest in Russia. In 1943, during the height of World War II, when the old, the old Fuhrer himself decided to stab one of his only allies in the back, and Russia and Germany found themselves at war with each other as well as the U.S., it was uh, the German troops attempted to invade the wintry forest of Smolensk and discovered no, a mass grave of no more 
than of no less than twenty thousand dead Polish soldiers. This determined that these were prisoners that were ordered to be executed under dictator Joseph Stalin's order. And if that weren't tragic enough, the plane crash that in 2010, which killed 96 more Polish political, military, and business leaders, brought uh, would certainly shed a, even more blood onto a place that perhaps could have used a lot less. Thirty. Our third entry brings us to Long Trail, Bennington, Vermont. This 272-mile-long trail is believed to be where Bennington College student Paula Jean Weldon disappeared on December 1st, 1946. However, she wasn't the only one. Four others had gone missing between 1945 and 1950, and only one of these were ever found. Perhaps it's because of these that it is said that Long Trail gives off a strange aura. And it is said that Weldon's disappearance is one of the 16 strangest mysteries of all time. Our next entry, coming off the heat from... On Smolensk Forest, we go to the Schwarzwald in Germany. It is named Schwarzwald uh, after the German word for Black Forest. And it gets this name because it, the trees are said to be so densely packed together that it is no that the darkness is impenetrable. And it is cited that Schwarzwald is also one of the inspiration for the setting of some of our darkest and yet most iconic and legendary fairy tales from the uh, Brothers Grimm. <laughs> However, the, le the actual legend has it that the forest was haunted by werewolves, witches, and the devil himself. In the tale of De Grossman, a tall, horribly disfigured man with bulging eyes and many arms fessed their sins and would never emerge again. However, even this does not compel air to our honorable mention of the tragic forest in Japan known as Aogikahara. Aogikahara, the Sea of Trees, a forest on the northwestern flank of Mount Fuji. It's one of the most tragic places on Earth. Because even unlike the Polish forest mentioned before, these, the deaths that occur in Algigara were not under someone else's order. Troubled youth come to Aogigahara. They may admire the scenery a little. Maybe in the backs of their minds there may be a hint of regret. A hint 
of hesitation. But in the end, those that venture into Aokigahara do so for one and one final time. Every year, the rangers and volunteers in Japan organize mass searching parties simply to retrieve and collect the bodies of those that left them in Aokigahara. For our final entry, we travel back into the uh, into East Germany to the country that brought us some of the most iconic vampire legends. We have the Oya Baku, located in the north northwestern Romania. The Oya Baku forest is known to the locals as Romania's Bermuda Triangle. And it gets this reputation because many who venture into the Oya Baku never return. And unlike Al Gikahara, it is unclear whether those that venture into the Oya Baku do not return because they meet their demise or because some unseen and unknown entity takes them. Like the account of a shepherd who is said to have disappeared with a flock of 200 sheep or perhaps the five-year-old little girl who disappeared only to rem who emerge five years after, having not even aged a day. The Oyabaku is said to also be the site of many UFO experiences in that part of the world. Strange lights, whispers, voices, and even a, a large circular patch of earth where nothing can grow, said to be one of two spots or two entries into the earth where the devil himself may emerge. <laughs> and that was a list of the top haunted forests. Yes. Of course, I had to give you a spooky little field trip today, my children. In the comments, type hashtag spooky woods so that we may see you. As always, I would love to extend my eternal gratitude to Travis Bruce for allowing me to come on to the Horror Realm and host this show for you all. <sighs> it is a pleasure and a delight to have you all. And if you would like to follow me, you may find me on Facebook at Thomas Stewart, my pro personal profile, or you may follow my A Corpse Child Sanctuary Facebook page where much more of my, my author dealings will be dealt. You may find me on Instagram at Unholy Corp at Corpse Child 2001. And you may find me on both TikTok and Slasher at Unholy Corpse Child. And if you are a truly devout maggot or larvae, you may find me at 
www.courtschildsanctuary.com where you may sign up for my newsletter and get a free ebook. And of course, you can join, you may find my citadel where all of my tomes of terror are for sale. Ebooks cheaper than Amazon and signed paperbacks which come with art, with a free art print from me and a custom bookmark as well as t-shirts. <laughs> Until next time, my children. <laughs>